Well, obviously, we're so thankful that we don't have any such issues here, though we do have a lot of rain compared to the last couple of days or even week or so. Rebecca, how long is this going to last? Well, it's looking like we've got a few days of rainfall. By the time we get to Thursday night, our mountains, specifically north central Cascades and into the Olympics, are going to get anywhere from three to six inches of rainfall. So this is pretty soggy systems that are rolling through here for the next few days. We're getting uh, sort of the second secondary back half of today's frontal system. You can see how how the major area of rainfall is pushing now east of the Cascades, but we still have a new round of rain, a, a little secondary line crossing Port Angeles now, and that'll be swinging in here through the afternoon. So we've had some drier breaks in between these showers, and we're going to keep the showers going as we get into the afternoon, even though we'll get a little bit drier. We've already had almost two and a half inches of quilute of rainfall, and moving inland, we have 63 hundredths of an inch for Seattle. So over a half an inch for Seattle, but around a third of an inch further north until you get to Bellingham, you are approaching a inch of rainfall. Now, this is pretty normal. Our average monthly rainfall goes up dramatically from October to November. November is the wettest month of the year, and it comes in at 6.57 inches for the month on average. Now, January is the second wettest, so if, you, if we get some really big rainfall events in December, I know we'll all be begging for oh, some sun breaks. Look at our school net stations now, an inch and a third at Cloud Allen Bay. We have 89 hundredths of an inch for Ferndale and 69 hundredths of an inch for SeaTac at Seattle Christian School. Temperatures mild too. Cloudy skies you can see here for Everett, but very wet along the, ta the tarmac at Payne Field. And in Seattle, it's just rain, rain, rain. 50 degrees. It's feeling a little mild out there. We are going to, we just had the warm front move through. We're going to expect to get a little breezy up around the north interior for Bellingham, who right now is 54 degrees. That'll happen this afternoon. 50 right now for Seattle, 47 for Tacoma. We're expecting our southerly winds to just stay on the lighter side for most areas except for the coast and further north for Skagit and Whatcom counties. But let's look at the future wind and clouds on the University of Washington high resolution model showing you that our primary batch of rain is out of here by 4 p.m. But we still have these areas of rain showers. The showers are going to persist and some will be locally heavy at times through the evening, but we're just bracing ourselves to get to the Wednesday Wednesday morning rainfall. So yeah, we got a, a few rounds ahead. So showers today, a little breezy to the north. Your temperatures are going to be in the mid to upper 50s. Our forecast highs should be 58 for Seattle and 54 for Shelton. We get to 56 for Olympia. Out on the coast, we're going to have temperatures in the upper 50s to mid 60s, getting windy through the afternoon. At Stevens Pass, rain on rain and rain. <laughs> We've got snow levels high. There are around 9,000 feet in the Cascades to the south Cascades closer to 11,000 feet, so it is just rain in the mountains for the most part. Any snow that comes down is not really going to accumulate. So Wednesday, yes, it's another showery, breezy day. We'll get some sun breaks out there, but Thursday we have the next round of rain that tapers off to dry. Thursday night we have a drier Friday, but look at the cool down that's yeah. on the way. Overnight lows mid to upper 30s wow. by the end of the week. That's so a 20 degree drop off from today. Yeah, big difference. <laughs>